15 minute yoga break, focus on lower back. We'll begin in a constructive rest position, bringing ourselves to our backs and allowing our feet to stamp towards the outer edges of the mat and letting the knees knock in towards each other. Here, you can bring one hand to the belly and one hand to the heart. In this constructive rest posture, we'll allow ourselves to bring our attention to our breath, breathing in to the belly, feeling that lower hand rise, breathing all the way up into the chest, feeling the upper hand rise, and then exhaling out the opposite direction, letting the upper hand lower first, and then the hand on the belly. Again, we'll inhale, sending the breath towards the belly, up through the mid chest, all the way up through that upper chest. And we'll exhale out from the upper chest, letting the ribs fall and finally the belly. Keep breathing in this manner if you'd like. Thinking of a wave like breath that flows in and out through the body with ease. Take mental note of how your lower back feels today. Not judging it as good or bad, but noticing how it feels. Take about one more really deep breath here. From here, if your eyes were closed, go ahead and blink them open. We'll hug our knees into our chest now, and maybe bring a gentle rock side to side. Then, bringing our palms to the tops of our kneecaps, go ahead and draw your knees in large circles here, creating a nice massage for the lower back. When you're ready, switch directions. Good, and then we'll hug those knees back into the chest and just take a couple little head movements here, bringing one ear towards the mat and then the other. Slowly waking up the body here. Then with both knees hugged into the chest, we'll drop the knees out to the right of the mat. Extend the left arm out to the side and either keep your gaze up or out towards the left, allowing the left shoulder to melt towards the earth. If you want a little more intensity in this twist, you can extend the right leg, which is underneath the bent left leg, or you can remain with both legs bent. Take a couple deep breaths here and imagine a washcloth that's being wrung out, letting go of any negative energy or thoughts. We'll start to make our way out of this twist. If your right leg was extended, go ahead and bend it once again so it's beneath the left leg. Then we'll hug both knees in towards the chest once again then rock a little side to side to neutralize the spine. This time we'll let the knees fall out to the left and extend with the right arm, gaze either up or towards the right, letting the right shoulder melt towards the earth. If you'd like a little more intensity, you can extend the left leg underneath or you can keep both legs bent. One side does not have to be the same as the other, so strive for equal sensation rather than equal looks. Remember to continue breathing here using the entirety of your lungs from the belly all the way into the upper chest.
If your left leg is extended here, go ahead and re-bend it so that both legs are bent, and then we'll hug our knees back in towards the chest. Then with both legs, we'll extend them out towards the bottom of the mat, and we'll make our way to a banana pose. So with your hips, go ahead and bring them out to the left, keeping your feet towards the right bottom corner of the mat. With your arms, extend them behind your head and all the way out to the right. You can grab onto your left wrist with your right palm if you'd like, or just take a more gentle variation by letting your hands fall wherever they'd like. Take some deep breaths here, and if you'd like to increase the intensity, you can cross the left ankle over the right to continue this side body stretch into the left side body. Take about one more deep breath here. Then we'll bring everything back through center so that we can walk our hips out to the right this time, feet to the bottom left corner of the mat, and hands coming up behind the head and out to the left, either grabbing onto the right wrist with the left hand or letting the hands rest wherever is comfortable. If you'd like to increase the intensity, you can cross the right ankle over the left here but that's optional and no variation is better or worse than another. Take a few more deep breaths in this banana posture. We'll make our way back through center here, hugging the knees once again into the chest Go ahead and wrap your arms around your legs and rock a little side to side. Let's make our way to Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly pose by bringing the soles of the feet to touch and the knees out towards the sides. If this is too much sensation, try bringing your feet further away from your body. If this is still too much sensation, you can always bring pillows, blankets, blocks, or books underneath your thighs to decrease the sensation. If you'd like to increase the sensation, try bringing your feet closer towards the body. Don't push or tug here, rather allow gravity to let your knees fall towards the earth and open up through the hips. Hands can stay by your sides or you can bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart, as we did in the beginning of this practice. Come back to that wave-like breath we took before, with the inhale sending your breath towards the belly, rising through the mid-chest and finally the upper chest, and letting your exhales release from the upper chest first, the mid-chest, and then the belly. Continue to breathe here, allowing the hips to open, Remembering to relax the facial muscles and the jaw, nothing here needs to be working. Notice if you can soften any more in the inner thighs and the hips. Continue to breathe deeply. If you start to notice a tingling sensation in the hip area, that is normal. Continue to breathe. If you notice your mind start to wander here, Gently acknowledge your thoughts and bring your attention back to the present moment. Let's take one more really deep breath in this posture.
we'll slowly start to come out of the posture by bringing our hands to the outsides of the thighs and closing the knees together like a book. Then we'll slowly hug the knees into the chest and rock a little side to side here. Let's stamp our feet to the outer edges of the mat and let the knees fall to one side and then the other in a windshield wiper like motion. This is a great release for the lower back and the hips, playing with some internal rotation of the hips since we just did some external rotation and it also provides a little massage for the lower back and the glutes. Eventually, we'll hug the knees back into the chest once more, and then we'll raise our feet towards the sky for waterfall pose or legs up the wall. If you'd like, you can actually rest your legs onto a wall or just let them float in space here. You can always bring a block or a pillow underneath the sacrum to lift the hips a little higher here, making this pose a little more restorative. I like to roll my ankles here and point and flex my feet, especially if I've been on my feet a lot today. This is a really nice gentle inversion, which is great for the body because it makes the blood flow easier for the heart, naturally slowing down your heart rate and bringing some restorative qualities to your day. Continue to breathe deeply here and allow the knees to be gently bent. Hugging the knees back into the chest once more. We're going to go ahead and find our way slowly to our final resting posture, which can either be a constructive rest pose like we did at the beginning of class, or finding our way to a full Shavasana, extending the feet out long, letting the feet splay out to the sides, and then extending the arms out to the sides, or letting the hands rest, one hand on the belly and one hand on the chest. The gaze can be soft here, or you can close your eyes, coming back to the breath whenever you need something to focus on. One of the best things you can do for your lower back when it's in pain is to find one of these supine postures, either in constructive rest, which is a little more gentle for the lower back, or if it feels okay, you can take a full Shavasana. Try to still the body here, scanning from the top of your head, down your face, down your chest and your back and your arms, all the way through the fingertips. Try to still the muscles in your inner thighs and hip area. Try to still the muscles through the legs and all the way out through your toes. You can continue to do this scan mentally down your body, slowly from head to toe, letting each muscle fall towards the earth and allowing the earth to support you. You can imagine your lower back spreading out onto the mat like pancake batter, slowly and gently finding your way to stillness. You can remain in this posture as long as you like. Thank you.